Can you feel it? It's warm. Doesn't hurt at all. See? It's over. Did you find what you were looking for? Thank you for your help. The Midnight Rangers have successfully apprehended all remaining Fraxidus members in the mountains, and the effects of the temporal disruption have now vanished. I lost all contact with you during this whole time. Did you run into any trouble? Temporal disruption hidden inside a sonorosphere. It makes sense now why it stayed hidden for so long. I never thought the solution would be to burn down the entire sonorosphere from the inside. You went too far back there, Chang Li. I know my limits. Rover, Lady Chung Li. Wu Li is fine now, thanks to his doctor's help. As for me, well, at least I can still walk a bit. After all, it's been almost five days. I never properly thanked you for bringing me back to Hangzhen. I heard about the attack by the Fraxidus in the mountains. I... I'm so sorry. No need for that. I understand. The Fraxidus had their eyes on the same thing we did. They've been planning an ambush on us for a long time. Why would we blame it on you? We will never forget how you saved us. You gave us the opportunity to witness such a breathtaking sight. Thanks to your help, this journey holds no regrets for me. As for the truth behind the so-called secret of immortality, Fu Ling has told me everything. I had a gut feeling it would turn out to be a disappointment, but I couldn't give up. And in the end, I lost sight of why I even started this journey. But this isn't the first time this has happened. Let's just call it another adventure coming to an end. I've talked about it with Fu Ling. From now on, I'll take her on more trips to see more new places together. Until... <laughs> Until the day when I can no longer hold a pen. I've already talked to the folks at the publishing house, and they're happy to let me continue painting for them. My eventual departure may be unavoidable, but I want to give it my all until the very end. I know you have already looked past death, but remember... There are people who care about you. They want you to live on and be happy. 
Yes, I understand. Sometimes I wish we could stay together a little longer, if only for a while. Of course, fooling. I... We've always been... It's not time to be sad yet, is it? I've compiled a list of renowned doctors in Huang Long. They're highly skilled and may offer assistance for your medical condition, which is challenging but not impossible to cure. Lady Chung Li, I, I truly can't thank you enough. No need for thanks. If you're feeling generous and want to repay me, I hope to see Fu Ling's work in the next issue of Artists of Huang Long. Everyone's been missing seeing their favorite landscape artists work lately. Are you surprised? Well, now I'm curious. What kind of a person do you see me as? Now that the situation has been resolved, you should return to Hongzhen. You deserve some good rest. After going through so much, you must be exhausted, Rover. Me? Well, I think Lady Xing Yi could use the extra help in dealing with the aftermath. <laughs> well, it wouldn't hurt to have a little more faith in me. It's getting late. Maybe we should wait until we get back to discuss anything else. Two days have passed since Chung Li told me she and Xin Yi would handle the aftermath. I wonder how she's doing. Are you worried? Let's just go ask her then. Uh, I don't know. Greetings. We're almost done dealing with the aftermath of the previous incident. We're currently questioning the remaining Fraxidus members we caught at Mount Firmament. They wanted to get their hands on the temporal program from the legend of the Wei Qi game, with the intention of unleashing chaos in Mount Firmament once again. But thanks to you and Chang Li, their plans were foiled. Chang Li recounted to us that a Fraxidus overseer had entered the Sonora Sphere and was injured by her fire. They were lucky to escape, but have not been seen since. I've put together a thorough report for City Hall. We will strengthen our defenses to make sure this doesn't happen again. We parted two days ago on the coast, and then she returned to Jinjo. Perhaps she's just taking some time to rest and recover. It must have taken a lot out of her to summon that much fire at once. Chang Li knew you'd be worried, and she wanted me to relay this message to you. 
Meet her at the pavilion on Mount Firmament. She'll be waiting for you there. She also said, no more riddles this time. How are you feeling, Rover? Well rested, I hope. Aw, can't you see I'm perfectly fine, sitting right in front of you? Don't worry, Rover. We're only having a casual conversation today. Nothing taxing. Besides, you only agreed to join me here for more questions, right? Oh, is that so? I'm curious then. Sure, ask away. I'm happy to answer them to the best of my ability. It all started a century ago, when my mentor, Master Xuanmiao, had a brief encounter with a certain peculiar visitor. During a TD outbreak, my master was rescued by that individual she exuded a unique energy and was always elusive. My master dug through ancient texts and unearthed her presence in long forgotten history. After searching for several years, he finally met that person on Mount Firmament again. They played a game of Weichi together and that was how the legendary game record came into being. At first, I thought my master meant the game record held actual information about the time crisis. But that was just a clue. The real key was finding you, the person behind it all. And lastly, the secret of immortality. It's most likely just the woodcutter's own spin on the tail. Sure, ask away. I'm happy to answer them. My master and the mysterious visitor had set a trap with the Sonarosphere, using the Weichi game as a guise. They hid it with the Court of Savante's Chronos Orders, and it would only activate once the time flow on Mount Firmament was restored to its normal state. Despite the Sentinel and Mount Firmament being saved, the Fraxidus would not go down without a fight. They were convinced that the temporal mandate was hidden within the game of Weichi, but little did they know, they had already fallen into a trap. Pure coincidence or the calculated workings of the Fraxidus, the explorer stumbled upon the Weichi board, setting off its defense mechanisms. The Sentinel was already damaged when it arrived here, my master had foreseen the disasters that would befall Mount Firmament, so he created this mechanism as a precautionary measure. The Sonorosphere would devour all who attempted to enter, unless they knew the solution to that puzzle. Precisely. The only way to escape was by burning the Sonorosphere without hurting anyone inside. It required masterful control of Forte. Thinking back, it was probably his ultimate test for me. That was his first goal with this Sonorosphere. Before leaving, Master entrusted me with a mission to find that individual. The one who played Weichi with him. The one who left behind that game record. After my master's passing, 
she would be the only one who could control the Sonoro Sphere. By now, you should know who she is. Yes. My master often mentioned you before his passing. And from the moment you arrived in Jinjo, I had my suspicions about your true identity. Our journey to Mount Firmament solidified my beliefs. And finally, the Weichi board in that Sonorosphere sealed the truth for me. Sure, ask away. I'm happy to answer. Indeed, those memories, they were all real. Yes, that's all in the past. Just a little homeless girl with no name. I never thought we could make new memories in the Sonorosphere, where only the past repeats itself. A moment of companionship and protection meant everything to me. I can sense your unspoken question. Did I sacrifice my life when I burned down the Sonoro Sphere, like when I was a child? What I told you there was true, but I've grown and gained control over my powers. Using my forte now won't harm me in any way. Of that, you can rest assured. Also, if you really are the legendary person who changed the course of history, then you are perhaps the closest to immortality, aside from our Sentinel. We mortals come and go. Our lives are full of meetings and goodbyes. Our time on this earth is fleeting compared to yours, so don't let it bother you. I see. Perhaps this is why it's so hard to leave this beautiful world behind. Then, would you be willing to finish that game of Weichi with me instead? The young orphan girl carried on. Everywhere she looked, tragedies rampant. As lament engulfed the globe, a world torn by monsters, filled with homeless souls. With her own blood as fire, she drove away the cold. And her master said, in this tumultuous world, lives are fragile as mayflies. She couldn't exhaust herself to save those before her. But she must endure to ignite a brighter tomorrow. She wielded her wits to evade harm, treading on knives with care, alone yet maturing through stumbles. Later on, she became someone else's teacher. She taught the future leader this, to guide conscience and secure prosperity for the people, to continue lost teachings of past sages and establish peace for all. I will be the torchbearer, for one person can't rid the world of chaos alone. One day, a future of prosperity and lasting peace will arrive.